Hey guys, a um, little bit of a different video today. I just wanted to come on because I feel that I need to emotionally and mentally purge myself because I feel that during this lockdown, 10 weeks now, I've been absolutely fine, uh, no problems whatsoever. But the last week or so with all the things that are happening, it's definitely affecting me. Um, and I just feel I need to get this off my chest just so that I can at least have a clear mind, you know? Um, we've, we've, ha we've been seeing in the news, you know, a lot of things going on at the moment. You know, the protests which have been reignited because of the most recent event, which was um, George Floyd. Sorry. Um, and then we had Breonna Taylor prior to that. And we had Ahmaud Arbery prior to that. And we've had countless number of people prior to that. You know, Trayvon Martin, Tamir Rice, Sandra Bland, Eric Garner. Um, it's, you know, it the list, the list goes on and on. And it doesn't just go back a few years. It goes back decades. It goes back hundreds of years, you know, in the US for sure. Um, the thing for me... The reason I feel like I'm being mentally affected now is because I'm seeing on social media, you know, this whole Blackout Tuesday, which I feel was a was, you know, was a good thing, you know, um, and it kind of went very wrong very quickly because a lot of people started posting Black Lives Matter and it was just filling up the Black Lives Matter hashtag to the point where, you know, vital information um, was being lost because there were just black squares everywhere. And I remember seeing, I remember seeing this um, the morning that I woke up on the Tuesday and it was, you know, it was said that, you know, we're going to say Blackout Tuesday. And my post that I put was just the black square and it was Blackout Tuesday. And um, I noticed on my feed a lot of people putting Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter. And I started to get more and more worked up because I just felt like, are you not, are you not reading? Are you not understanding? Like, why, why are you just posting Black Lives Matter? It, you know, it's, the instructions were Blackout Tuesday. Um, and even then, it's kind of like, it was for a different sect, but it was for a different sector, but it kind of um, spilled over into um, general social media. Um, and you know, it did bring awareness to something that was going on, but I just kind of got upset because a lot of people were posting Black Lives Matter and that wasn't what we were supposed to do. Um, but what upset me more is that a lot of these people like big corporations and maybe some of these celebrities and regular people were people that had never really posted on this kind of subject before and it wasn't a subject that really kind of bothered them prior to this and I just felt like why is this happening is it because it's trendy right now and everyone's just kind of following the, the trend the craze um and it kind of it kind of got to me and it it really brought me down because I just felt it takes away from the the true meaning of what we're trying to achieve and that is to open people's eyes and to make them see or no not make them see because you don't want to make anyone do anything but open people's eyes and expose them to the the truths of the black person you know we as black people have lived our lives black all the time and for that we have experienced a lot of prejudice and a lot of racism simply for the color of our skin um and i'm not saying that other people haven't experienced anything everyone has their experiences but my point is and i feel that um the point of black lives matter is that everyone is equal but the problem is we are not as equal as everyone else. So we need to have the spotlight on us to help us get to an even playing field because it's not like that. It's not, we're not there yet, you know? Um, you know, there's always people who clap back with all lives matter, which is another one that gets me angry because 
I understand all lives matter. I'm not saying that, um, I'm not saying that a black life is more important than, you know, a white life or an Asian life or a Latino life, Hispanic life, whatever. I'm saying that a black life is equal to, but the problem is it is not seen as equal in the eyes of society, you know? Um, and that's why Black Lives Matter was formed because if we didn't do it, nobody else would, you know? Um, and that that's why I get so angry because now I feel a lot of these big corporations and the people that follow them are just jumping on this bandwagon and I'm like, what is so different now, you know? You can't say, oh, because it was caught on tape and, you know, we saw them being murdered. We've seen that before. Eric Garner was caught on tape, you know? Um, Oscar Grant was caught on tape and, you know, he was shot point blank, um, you know, in the back while he was lying down, handcuffed. So it's not like, it's not like, oh, because we've seen it now, we're gonna stand with you. I honestly feel, and this is my personal thoughts, lockdown has affected a lot of big corporations, you know, financially. So therefore, this situation happens, and it's for them, it's good PR. We need to be seen to be standing with the people because they are then going to repay us in kind with their business. And I'm not saying don't support businesses because, you know, there are some genuine ones that have always, have always been there in the background, I'm sure. Same as there are people like some of your friends or um, celebrities that you know, there are always going to be those people that were there from the beginning. But there are some that are just jumping on it now because it's the trendy thing to do. And that's what, that's what I feel we need to be calling out and people need to notice because it just again it detracts from the message you know because once the trend is over a lot of these people are just going to disappear you know and a lot of these companies are going to forget it's the same like with pride every year there are a lot of companies that are all about pride and support and support pride but that's because they want the business from that period and then once it's over they go back to normal life and they are you know um they are servicing the general public, which is a specific group of people. Now, um, for me, I just needed to say that because it was something that was weighing on my mind and I just needed people to hear that. I, If you are a genuine person who genuinely believes in the cause and genuinely... Um, wants to help, you know, people that you know, or people that you don't know, then I applaud you and I thank you for that. But if you are just jumping on this because it's the current trend, like a TikTok dance or something, then I just feel it's better that you don't support because I would rather you honestly don't support than falsely support, you know? Um, yeah. I think that's all I have to say, but I want to close this off by saying that these are my thoughts and these are how I feel. Um, and I don't, I'm not, I'm not pointing the finger at anyone. I'm not blaming anyone. I'm just saying these are my thoughts and the feelings that I had. And it was something that I needed to get off my chest because it was something that I felt I couldn't speak to somebody about without then possibly taking offense. So I needed to put this out there and hopefully, you know, I'm hoping that people won't be offended by this and will maybe look at it and see it as something that gets them thinking. And maybe it might spark um, a change in their perception or their view because with with minorities, black people specifically at the moment, um, we speak our truth a lot about things that happen or about things that are done to us, but they're not always taken at face value. Um, and I hope that some of the people watching this will, you know, listen to their black friends just a little bit more and try and understand where they're coming from because <clears throat> you have to remember in life, we we all want to achieve the same thing and that is 
to go through our lives and be happy. You know, that's the ultimate goal, just to be happy in your life. And I think we can all achieve that if we all work together. But if we're going to work together, let's do it on an even playing field and let's do it from a point of being genuine and honest with each other. Okay, anyway, I'm going to sign out. Thank you for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.